Devon's ruled out for this week uh, with his ankle. Um, and uh, Gary Ringo is also, um, well, the hamstring isn't quite right, so he won't be available this week either. Um, you would have seen Nilsie float around, he was, he was pretty good. And uh, obviously CJ, you know about CJ, so um, he's ruled out obviously as well. He's looking good so far. You know, Tuesday's usually a good sign at this stage. Um, and being Nilsie, he's, he's a tough character and he, he marches on and uh, our medical staff have done a great job um, with him as well. Well, they do with everybody, obviously. Rob's good. Yeah, he's actually um, got through um, yesterday and today as well. Um, so, you know, it's good to have, um, like I said, our, our, our squad depth has always been good um, in terms of experience and in terms of who can come in. Um, so, yeah, he, he trained a rock. You know, we've got some good centre backups as well. Um, you know, obviously, Will played November and you've got Chris coming back and even uh, another Farrell Tom. Um, he's there as well. So, I suppose um, that's where the... Um, the decisions will be made around what, what best fits. Quinn actually did well, I don't know if you noticed, Louis Kitty came on and he provided, um, put a couple of big hits in. He's been um, leading the line out in Connaught um, this year, he's really progressed there, he's matured as a player. He's been in an environment since, you know, South Africa, uh, the South African tour um, a couple of years ago. Obviously his scrum has um, always been pretty good, mauling. Um, so I mean, he's, as a tight forward, he, he ticks a lot of the boxes and he's been knocking on the door. Um, and the second row is a competitive position at the moment, which is which is great. And luckily for us, we have we have a bit of depth there at the moment. It's too late now, but I think part of it is just coming back to being to being Irish, to being Ireland, and playing like we have done. And and there's probably parts of the weekend that didn't show up, and it was certainly um, our focus is, you know, in all due respect, England were, were played well, um, but we have to turn the page, and we. We can't undo that, what happened, and only, all we can do now is, is focus on our accuracy and our, and our preparation for this week, um, and that's our, our sole focus, and you know, the players know as much as what you guys do and what we do, what we need to work on, and, and uh, you've only got a couple of training runs to cover, so you just get what you need to get right done. They've got some great playmakers. They play both sides of the ruck. They've got a good attacking. Obviously, Greg has drilled them really well. They play fast. Um, you know, the physical and the, and the breakdown, the niggly. Um, and, you know, if you don't get it right, they've got a good um, counter attack as well. And they, they're certainly always looking for uh, mismatches and opportunities to attack. So, um, again, it, it, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we just, even though the World Cup is um, coming up, you know what we pre what is presented this weekend. Even though it's a similar team, it is slightly different um, situation in some ways.